return the tool to Home Depot this afternoon, like right now. So then I decided since I'm off tomorrow, I was going to go to the roots. I try to support, I try to be loyal. And this is the second time I went to the roots to get a freaking soda. And I was going to drink a soda on the podcast and they didn't have any freaking soda. So now I'm like all butter. So that's why I got a little behind after I returned my $54 tool to Home Depot. Much love to the Home Depot customer service. Didn't ask one question about why I was returning and it didn't give me the runaround. Yeah, I don't give a shit. But the, yeah, they don't. And it's not affecting their money. Yeah, so. Yeah. So. Uh, some hearts. So anyway, yeah. So then I was like, dude, I'm just going to get, get, get one of those orange cream sodas that I love. Perfect amount of, of, of Eddie's. Yeah. They didn't have it. So then I was like, dude. This is the second time I came here and you guys didn't like have good customer service for me. So I might have to like not be loyal to the roots anymore. God damn it. So yeah, but but long story short, we did get the grill fixed and we used it last night and we barbecued last night, me and Jesus. We had a good time last night. Good times, good times. That's a good, uh, I, I started recording mid, like not mid, but like in the beginning of your story, just cause I, I wanted to capture it. it. It sounded very important. This was this was my week in a nutshell. Yeah. Yeah. And um, I rewatched last week's episode of the Apostle Songbird podcast, and I have to do a better job of not like being distracted. Like I was using my phone too much, and that was like an insult to you. So I'm going to try to do a better job of of staying focused. Because I figured one of my models is you either focus or you fuck us. So I got to stay focused on the podcast if I want to be a world-class podcaster moving forward. It's true. Yeah, so, I didn't, didn't want to start eating an apple. That is probably really bad audio, but, you know, I don't want to waste it either. So I got No, start. I mean, an apple a day keeps the keeps the doctor away. That's true. So, yeah, we're, we're going we're gonna to roll. We're rolling now. Uh, this is our second episode of the Apostle Songbird podcast. Got a little pre pre story out of the way that wasn't one of the topics that we had discussed. Because believe it or not, we do plan this. We plan in advance our topics, so we're very uh, thorough. I got my 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 traditional shirt. I see you go shirtless today. I got my Evan City Cemetery shirt. Yeah. You know. I gotta go put on a shirt. I, I got a decaf coffee in the microwave from this morning. Let me let me grab that. You don't need to you don't need to you don't need a shirt up for me. It's it's okay. It's uh, okay. I'll wear the shirt. It's a it's kind of a topic. Oh, okay. But I'm gonna before you go shirt up, I'm I'm gonna watch when we're done podcasting that movie that you recommended that Stephen King wrote and Romero directed. So that's on my that's on yeah, my agenda tonight. Yeah, what what did I say it was called? Uh, I don't know. I'll have to check that text message. Yeah dark half you really I, liked it it was good shit i thought it was pretty good it was like it it almost seemed like it might be a tv movie like the but or just something that came out in the 90s and was super like it, it didn't have any like huge stars like timothy hutton was the star um but uh i don't know it, it was pretty good overall like you could tell it was george romero kind of like the way things like you set things up like the cinematography and there's like a weird kind of dream sequence that was really and there's a lot of you could tell you got some makeup people in there because there's some gore um, oh do you think you got tom savini i don't know about him but there's some good <laughs> makeup for sure and then uh like so the premise is it's this guy that's an author and uh he uh it takes place in, New, like, New England or something, which all oh, Steve... fuck, of did. course. You know what I like about New England? Fucking nuts. Maybe they're chowder, but nothing. Yeah. yeah. But then, so, the, the author, he's doing, he's doing, like, a pen name for, like... Because he's, he's, like, he likes writing a certain way, but the thing that makes him money is all these uh, novels about this badass guy that goes around just, like, killing people and, like, just, like, totally different than than what you would think of this guy who's like a college teacher and uh but he makes money off of that under a, a fake name and a fake picture on the back so then um suddenly he he has to kill off the character because he wants to do his own writing or write what he wants and then uh 
all of a sudden all these murders start happening that have to do with stuff in his books or his characters or whatever. So you kind of, it's kind of like what's happening. Is it, is it a serial killer? Is it supernatural? Whatever. And it gets, it gets weird. And it's like a Steve, it's definitely a Stephen King uh, book. Cause it gets really fucking weird, but it's cool. Well, did you think did those guys just want a quick payday or? Mm. I, th- I mean, they make everything by Stephen King into a movie eventually. And then, I don't know, it just seemed like something that was kind of maybe a little lower budget. It, it was, I think it came out in 89. So that was well, kind of like, they're doing a lot of TV movies, right? But. I'm definitely going to watch. So so this Skype is alerting me that people are having difficult time hearing me and I need to move closer. Is that the case? Um, I can hear you, but maybe, uh, audio will come out bad later. I don't know. Nobody, I funny. didn't, I didn't say you were, so I don't No, but it said it on the top. It was kind of weird. Huh. Fuck this Skype. Even though I like Skype, don't be telling me messages. If freaking Apostle can hear me, don't be writing little stupid messages on yeah, me. Yeah, Skype doesn't speak for me. They don't know what the hell they're talking about. All right, let me get my shirt really quick and then get this underway. Man, nice backpacks. Yeah. Yeah. The Texas rattlesnake, the most electrifying man in all of entertainment. AKA Dwayne. Dwayne. Up in there. There's uh. Can you see this one? Which one? Oh shit. Oh, you gotta be the friggin' ultimate warrior. Yeah, that's it. Damn! Damn! <laughs> Are those? Is that your original backpack? No, Al Zadie got me these on like offer up or something. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. I guess they're what? a pretty good deal. The the Austin one's not bad. The rocks is torn a little bit, but. Hey, so I'm I I I think I owe you thirty four still for the. For the Foley. Oh yeah. We're even. We're even on the Macho and the Warrior, but I owe you for the Foley. Oh okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. I I'm trying to make that my last order for a while. Would you just? Order... Did you just get? Did you just get two orders? Yeah. I I we had, me and uh fiance had talked about like we gotta stop spending money on bullshit. Not like oh, mad. Yeah. Like neither of us are mad, but she does the same shit and buys like, uh, like rugby stuff, rugby shorts, or just like random, whatever bullshit. We're like, yeah, we gotta stop ordering shit for a while. So like, and then that came up after we had just talked about it last week, probably, on, or just I don't know the the warrior, the ultimate ultimate warrior that came out years ago. They're reprinting it. The one, yeah, we did talk about it, like how we missed it because we weren't collectors at that point. Yeah, and all of a sudden they're like, oh, we're gonna like. At this point, I don't know. I'm worried about buying anything like too far ahead of time because you always see it in the stores now. It's not like COVID times where you get desperate or maybe before even, but I don't know. It just seems like they're going to reprint anything that people want their hands on. So, so you don't think I'm going to, I won't have a trouble finding the brother love that I did in pre order? I don't think so. Like those targets, they, especially ones like that where they aren't, it's not like, ultimate warrior macho man and even those we see them all over the place so yeah but we're I, starting to see them i'll be I honest get, i get fomo anything with macho man and ultimate warrior i'm on fomo I, I, anything with those i get fomo yeah so. yeah i did that with foley because that well i mean but most of the stuff they put out with like foley that i want like the cactus jack special edition or the, the this defining moments it's all ringside stuff you have to go to ringside collectibles to get it and they, it's not like I can order it anywhere else. They're not going to drop the price unless there's a big, big sale, which then it, they might be gone by then. So I just buy them. But uh, yeah, it's. I don't when are know. you going to get like, the Harley race? The the three Harley races. That's not coming to like August, I think, because it's like the second back order. But oh, wow. I have them on ringside. At last I checked, so I'm kind of like, and and every other website, there's one website that had it. And they just didn't have the picture, so you didn't really. It wasn't really obvious. But you had to like search his name, and it, like came up. 
So I don't know. Well, that's kind of a test. That's the last thing I'm. Do you think, I even, like I'm not like a big Harley Race fan. I was just like, oh, it it became really valuable last time. Maybe they will this time too if people buy them up. Because certain ones I didn't even see the last few lines, but I don't know. Do I, do I need to get that that Amazon rock that you got? I mean, it, I. It, you don't have to. I just I sent it to you because I thought you might want it. Um, it's like the Attitude Era rock, pretty much, and it's. it's you that you one have time. that one though, right? Huh? Was that was that one of the first Amazon exclusives? Yeah, I think so. It it uh, and it, I got it like right when I had COVID. I think it came. It arrived at my mom's, or or either arrived or I ordered it and it came. Um, but. It, uh, yeah, and then it went up to like 200 bucks because it was Amazon exclusive. And if everybody buys those up, then they tend not to come back out, or at that time they didn't. But now they're like, it's rare, it's worth a lot. So they just reprinted it. Same with the Brett that just you just got. got. I got both my Bretts. I got the pink jacket. That's new. That's just whatever. That's Target. But the black jacket one, that one went up in price. And now it's probably down because they reprinted it. I got them. I got. I have both mine at the house now. Both the breads, the black jacket and the pink jacket. Yeah, I got. No, I think I have the black jacket at my mom's. I don't know. Definitely have the pink here. Eh, I, don't know. I did end up seeing the the Brett and the Goldberg A and E Most Wanted Treasures. Oh yeah, how'd that go? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. I, like Goldberg was kind of it was all right. Yeah, he, I mean they got the they got Brett's jacket back. Oh, that's cool. Did you end up seeing? I won't spoil it for you if you haven't seen it. Nah, but I probably won't watch it. I I'd have to like seek it out somehow. But. I enjoy those. I enjoy watching that shit. I wish that we had some shit like that, but it's one of the, it seems like one of those things I might like if they put it on the network or it's on. Where would it be? It might be on some channel and all. I think it's on the A and E. Is there an A and E app? Or yeah, yeah, I've gone on there to watch one before. I would just go and like watch them all in a row. I feel like. Yeah, my, my trusty podcasting pen. <laughs> you gotta have that app. You're pretty soon. You gotta start marketing Songbird pens. God damn, pal! I'm rude. I've been interrupting. I gotta do a better job. Relax, relax. I, I got. I, I just want to get my shit in. I'm being like a. I'm. I'm being a. Shit in. I'm being a That's a, that'll be our, our first segment. Like we'll start doing segments. It'll be called "Get Your Shit In." You just you just throw out all your your stuff for the week. <laughs> Songbird gets a shit in. Get your shit in. Get, but yeah. that's like kind of rude. I'm like a rude. I'm a rude podcaster. If I have uh, if I have time, we'll put in a graphic. Or well, I've got a lot of time. Get your shit in. Yeah, I'll put get get your shit in. So it's time for get your shit in the song for uh freelance yeah yeah you go. oh you gotta put you gotta put that picture i said of the of the kfc the new building okay i saw yeah. that on my ride home that was the first time i went down that way so oh, it's yeah. confirmed dang yeah it was just uh those like dumpster things or or uh the not dumpsters uh like the uh office little little uh Trash can tubes or whatever. whatever yeah, 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 yeah. Here's the trailers. I don't know. Yeah. So, all right. You want to right. roll? I got. I think I got. I got. I got all my shit in. Uh, R.I.P. to the Bumblebee man. Oh yeah, Bumblebee man. We're uh, we we were trying to get a a Mexican correspondent come on and talk about the Bumblebee man passing away. Um, it was not. Not the, I guess he inspired the Simpsons Bumblebee, Bumblebee man, but he's like a red and yellow guy. I don't know. He's like 85. I think it was natural causes. I mean, our correspondent, he's watched the NBA finals, I think. So Shout out to our cor- our, our, our Latino and Hispanic correspondents couldn't, yeah. couldn't uh, grace us tonight due to the uh, NBA finals. So. Maybe Latinx. Do we want to <laughs> see He could maybe, I don't know. Well, uh, but maybe we'll get a sto- we'll get a s- story scheduled for next week. But we just wanted to throw that out there that we know it happens, and the, the viewers don't. 
um, bombard us in the comments about Bumblebee, man. Yeah. Uh, he really contributed. Ay, Dios mío. Yeah, yeah. Does, is that what he said? I just said that as like a joke. I think that's what he said. He probably did. That would make sense. But, but the Bumble, the real Bumblebee man did in The Simpsons, but the, not the... I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> move on. We don't have much to talk about it. Um, what were? Let me see the topics I sent you. Make sure. Donut, Donut Day was one. Oh yeah, that's well. I'll start. I'll start with the biggest news I have is I went to AEW last week. Do share. Do share. Hey, I gotta tell you this. I watched it. Let me. Let me. I was gonna text you guys, dude. It, when I watched it, it seemed like the crowd was dead. Like it, it didn't seem like. Yeah. Like, there they wasn't like energy. Nice. It wasn't like a WrestleMania crowd or something. It was just like. Yeah. They popped when Sabu came out, and uh, it was yeah. What. I mean, you could tell that they didn't. It wasn't like last year. Everybody was like on, like going crazy last year. They had like a better card overall on both nights. Like the the dynamite last year, there was a cage match. It was like the first match, I think. So everybody's going nuts, and like they had CM Punk, they had shit like set up a little better. This year was like. I don't know. Nobody was that into any of the main events. Like Sabu came out for something, and they popped for him. And uh, I don't know. I honestly, I was pretty wasted, so I'm not gonna be the best judge. And I and plus, so my friend Mark, he's he's a great guy, but he, he smokes a lot, and he he's a big Jim Cornette fan. So he was he was like wearing the Jim Cornette shirt. I couldn't find mine that he bought me last year to wear. Got lost in the move, but uh he uh he started like just immediately the first match of the show he's he's just like jobbers and like just heckling the whole time and then he he was pissed because so we were in seat like one and two of the row so last year and when he bought the tickets this year he says that one and two were like close to the ring and then in our same row 12 and 13 were farther away from the ring so we went to where one and two should be and they flipped up the chairs and they, it said 12 and 13. He was, he was freaking out. Like he was wasted, but he was also like, I bought tickets that were closer to the ring. They were end left, like the, the left side and they flipped it. Some, somebody flipped it apparently. I don't know if that's true. He went to everybody in the crowd on our, on our side when we got put in the right spot that was farther away from the ring. He went to everybody on that side. He's like, this is bullshit. Like, the tickets are wrong, right? And people kept agreeing with him. So I don't know if they're agreeing because he was a drunk dude, like, freaking out. Or if they – but – so we watched the whole show. We take a few different smoke breaks. And, was Pat with you? No, nah, this is Wednesday. This is – Oh, uh, when, okay. Okay, this is the Wednesday. Pat, Pat didn't come yet. So it's just me and Mark. And they're really good seats, though. They're second row. But we're, like – off now we're off camera last year we were on camera now we're like we're further away from the ring so he uh he complains to everybody he can find he starts texting on twitter the uh the guy in charge of live events and uh the guy's like i'm really sorry and like we'll figure something out and then uh he keeps going to every usher he sees and like our seats are in the wrong spot like the fuck he just keeps talking shit and then eventually, like, a manager comes up, and during – so after the Dynamite was over, they tape Rampage for, like, an hour. So during Rampage, they put us not camera side, but the opposite side, front row, like, opposite side the camera. So the camera's, like, up behind us, like, the hard cam. And we're, yeah. like, front row, and we're just, like, eh. Like, I was flipping off the Ass Boys, uh, Billy Gunn Sons, and, like, just yelling. Like, there's some Vegas guys wrestling, I was yelling at them, and, like, it was pretty cool, but then he wanted to leave like right after because it we had been there about four hours. This is the fourth hour. And they were gonna tape another show after Rampage. So he he's not the best person to go with if you want to watch wrestling, watch a good six hours of wrestling. But he's good if if something gets fucked up, he gets shit done because we got in the front row. So So it had a, a, a positive ending. Yeah, so that worked out. Did and you guys get the chairs? No, nah, it was just 
I guess they don't do that for a dynamite. Like maybe if it was a special, whatever. But then, uh, so then on a Sunday, Pat was there. Well, the whole weekend. So Friday, Pat came. We went to a wrestling show. Uh, Saturday, we went to a wrestling show. First one was at some shitty casino called the Silver Nugget. This is GCW, where they have like a bunch of death matches and then like uh, like it's they're trying to be like ECW, but like I don't know, trying not to lose money. So like <laughs> the first two rows were uh, were seats, and then the rest is standing room. So everybody's just standing watching this shit. And uh, like Matt Cardona was on there, and uh, but we missed him. We came late. We missed a bunch of matches, but we we got there for some cool matches. And there was a light. There the last match was death match. There's like light tubes and shit. The lady, there's like a late a Japanese lady versus this little white guy. They're bleeding all over the place. They did they did intergender match. Yeah, they do whatever there. It's just like a lady pulled out a knife once and was threatening somebody with a knife, and then like kind of carved him a little bit. They're pretty. They're pretty wacky. They def. I mean, I don't know what they pay the wrestlers, but they're definitely saving money on the production because it's just like there's no seats. It's just like there's some lights so you can see the ring. Nothing fancy. But then, so that was Friday. Saturday, we saw a show on Fremont Street, a wrestling show. And then Sunday was the, the pay-per-view. It was good. Uh, we ate the Salt Bay, the Salt Bay guy. I How was it? It's pretty good for thirty nine dollars. You can't really beat it. They had beers for six bucks, like Heineken or Stella. It's not bad deal. for That's that close. To, yeah, and we, uh, yeah, we just we got filet mignon and uh, and then. God damn, you're the filet mignon eating wrestling show going. Yeah. Then yeah. you're buying son of a gun, wheeling dealing. I'm not even working. I don't know what's going on. Life is good. It's going pretty good right now. I don't know, man. Uh, and then, so the 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 AEW pay per view, um, double or nothing, was pretty good. Last two matches really good. The rest of it, here and there, the crowd was pretty hot, but it's yeah, it wasn't like last year. There wasn't it wasn't as like so. Last year was the for two years they had said they were gonna run there, but COVID shut it down. They couldn't run T-Mobile for two years. So then last year, everybody had been waiting. Like, all these people that bought tickets for two years probably were like, fuck this, we're going. They bought, they sold out the place. But then this year, they went, they came last year and did this ton of shows. They came back. Vegas is very, like, fickle like that, I think. It's just, like, there's so much competition. Like, you go to get wasted and gamble. To go to a show, like, if a show happens once in a while, it's fine. But, like, a yearly thing, I don't know. You have to have, like, a really good main event. And I don't think they had a big enough main event. If they had brought Punk back for a match, I think that would have helped a lot. But otherwise, I don't know what they're going to do. Um, you mentioned the Vegas fans are fickle. Do you think anything had to do with the Vegas Knights going to the Stanley Cup? I mean, that's a different thing. It's like they're winning, so they're going to sell out every – Thing leading up to to this like the finish or whatever but have you noticed like an increase of tourists for the cup um not really like i i haven't personally but i don't work anywhere near there but i mean i think they they tend to sell out like especially when they're like they're doing well and like now they're i'm sure all the games have already sold out ahead like they're if they have to go that long they're going to like the end of june so I'm sure those have even been bought up, but I don't know. I, I could look, do some research for next week, but yeah, it's just could be a, that could be a next week topic. The cup. Yeah, and like the thing was, they a couple a few years ago they went to the cup and then they lost. So with sports teams, it's different because they didn't go to the cup again, or like they didn't go to the finals the last few years. I don't think. No, so I don't think they did. This year they're in the final, like in the finals. I'm sure they'll just do well but yeah with wrestling it's like like wwe last year so they oh they, when they switched oh, the arena from allegiant to Allegiant, yeah and they switched to mgm which is like eh. 
and UFC isn't running. They re- always run T-Mobile, and they always sell pretty well, but they're not. Uh, but it has to be, like, a bigger fight. Otherwise, they it's, it's it doesn't really work out. But I don't know. So, yeah. So, they didn't really have, like, the money match, you're, you're saying. Like, they didn't have anything that captivated the audience that the audience just had to see. Yeah, I don't think Even so. Even that like, girl, that Jade Cargill, that was 59-0, lost. I mean, I, I didn't see that coming. They did the old uh, Yokozuna challenge. That's how yes. that yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was – we were we right after that match, we were like, we're going to the bathroom. We went to the bathroom. Or we were we were walking to the, up the stairs, and then all of a sudden they hit the other girl's music. And we were like, shit, we got to watch. Luckily, it was quick, but, um, yeah. It's yeah. There's some there's some good stuff. Like the shows are always good, but the you just they didn't have like a drawing main event. It wasn't sold out, as far as I could tell. But oh no, it wasn't sold out. Nah, I don't think so. Uh oh. But yeah. Did you but just anyway. get chastised? No, this is a cat. A cat. Came, oh. Oh. You know, by the cat, kind of. Oh. He just came in and wants his face rubbed rubbing it on stuff what a guy the patch typical patch yeah so then uh yeah that's about it it was a good time good vegas wrestling weekend um so we can segue into you mentioned you weren't working earlier and the other one of the topics was the nfl job that you had lined up was canceled oh, yeah. yeah so that's a that's a great story i get well not really but it's not a great story it's great for me what happened so it was uh how could you yeah yeah i did this i did this job for the nfl uh films or whatever it's like peyton's places and it was just a one-day thing and they're like you want to be on this other job in june because then then we won't have to do a background or anything on you i was like okay cool so then uh i've been waiting to hear shit they they sent me an email on friday and they said, you're going to get a, somebody's going to contact you tomorrow about this job. It's like, okay. And nobody contacted me. I emailed back on Tuesday. I was like, Hey, long weekend. Uh, what's going on? Anything new? And then yesterday, this uh, lady called me and was like, Oh, the job's canceled. But because they, they're, everybody held the dates. They're going to, they're going to pay you. They're going to pay you for all the dates you were scheduled to work. No kidding. Yeah, so I was. They're like, "How many did? How many were you scheduled for?" And I was like, "Well, oh, two months." Huh? Two months. You should have told them. Yeah, should have. No, they knew it was like a like it was pretty much a four day job, but then I I had told them like, "Oh well, I was supposed to work uh, an extra day to like pick up equipment, like pick up a truck and pick up equipment." So I was supposed to get five, and they're like. Okay, I'll double check. And then she texted me later and was like, "Yeah, you're you're honor. It will they'll honor it." I'm like, "Yeah, this is great." This is you got paid a, not to work. Yeah, yeah. So I get five days of uh, pay. It's awesome, and it's a decent rate for production assistant, which typically wow. gets lower um, than anybody else. But hey, so did you have direct deposit? Like, who signs an NFL check or <laughs> NFL films? It, you know what i got it through like they have like a the last one they have like a website and then you fill out your time card there and then they send you the thing electronically whether you uh i think they have the check like online though like i can go look at it but i it's like nfl film so it's just like some i don't know just so are you that. technically an employee of the nfl at that point Mm, I wouldn't say that. Not employee, just like independent contractor or something. I don't I don't really even know. Hopefully, uh Well I'll yeah. tell you what, the NFL's not calling me, motherfuckers. Uh, probably not. I mean you gotta the only reason I got it is some guy in town. It was random. Well, that just proves the old adage. It's not about what you know, it's about who you know. Yeah, for sure. That's all. Just, that's all I've learned. Got to build a network. You just gotta like. We have to have a strong network. Yeah, it's about. It's mostly networking. That's. You gotta network. You gotta hit the right people and become friends with the right people, or else it's it's a lot harder. Impossible. 
Hey, so will another opportunity arise with the NFL then, do you think? I mean, the only thing I know that they're, I mean, they're always doing shit here. The one thing I know that they're doing is the, they're doing the Super Bowl next year. So, but they, I saw this, I saw something there. The NFL was asking for like 7,000 volunteers for the Super Bowl. Bro, can you get me in the door? Dude, the Eagles are going to be there. But the, it's, it's a, a volunteer. Like, why aren't they paying people? That doesn't make any sense to me unless it's like, something i don't know i don't know unless it's a charity thing that they're dude, doing june 1st you said the super bowl oh man you gotta get me there to the super bowl Big- yeah i mean if if i can get something going i'll i'll let you know but uh uh yeah i'm trying to make friends with uh marky mark maybe marky mark give me tickets he's 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 always he's down on uh fremont street serving liquor to people all the time now it's Why? really they keep showing it. I mean, I've never been there when he's doing it, but it's happened like twice already. He he goes to Circa, which is uh, the they have the pool on top of the roof and the right right the big screen with all the uh, sports playing. He he went there and was serving alcohol to people, and then this last week they have a bar like that's on Fremont Street. He's serving alcohol to people. I don't know. He must be either working with them about to do something or doing a bartender role or something i don't know he's just like he's like pouring 100 shots and then handing them out off, off, off the subject of that um i don't remember what i was watching the other day but they they were advertising the gordon ramsay show is that the show that you ended up working on last year um was it food stars or was it uh next level chef god damn it i don't remember it, I've seen Food Stars advertised recently. And that, Is that the one that you were on? No, I was on Next Level Chef. They already ran the season that I did, and then they're on the second season now. And I went, I helped do, like, the uh, packages, like, the home packages for the second season. So we, that's when last year in October we went to, like, New York and East Coast and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we did the parts where they show the people at home, like, cooking or, like, with their family. Or like that that eagle, the guy that was on the Eagles and uh, whatever other team, like he was on the second season. So we went okay. to his house in town here. So, you, so, so your yours has already aired. Yeah, I think both. I don't know if the second one's over yet, but the second one was almost over. Oh There's God, that's another show together. called Food Stars that my other friend worked on. It's just a, a totally different show. Who was that guy? It was- I can't think of the guy that you saw. He played for the Chiefs too, wasn't it? Mark McMillan. Uh, maybe. Something like that. I forget his name. He's a He's nice a guy. guy, right? Like five nine. He's pretty small, but like, like big. Like he had a good bigger. career in the NFL. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. He had some good sacks, and he had a lot of sacks. He was. Uh, he was a he was a DB. He didn't have any sacks. No? Okay, uh, I don't know. No. I, f- I feel like know, I remember him sacking somebody, but maybe I'm thinking interceptions. I don't know. It was, a little, so, it was, it was quick. He was the first one we went to. Are you, do you come out in the credits then? Like when they rolled it at the end of the... Maybe. I, I did in the first season because I was there all the time. But with the... We just... Doing those packages, I don't... I don't know if they put that in the home package. Oh, people. is that right? I would think they do, but I don't when know. Is, I, I never checked. I gave up on checking. Really? I mean, I did, if it's a show I was on for a long time, I checked. But like that Netflix show, I checked. But yeah, yeah. But if it's that like that thing was so quick, we were done in like a month. And it was just like for the pretty much the beginning of each episode, and that was it. When when is this the Ultimate Fighter? When is that gonna um, air? That just that started like yesterday or something. Oh, did it? it? Plus, yeah, yeah, it just. What started. was that? You broke up. I'm sorry. Oh it's yeah, on what? it's on ESPN Plus. Oh, so ESPN Plus. I don't think I have that anymore. So. Okay. Checked on that, but. So. If 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 I have the opportunity to watch it, I may see. The heavy bag that's in my garage. Being- yeah. Well, yeah, or the commercials at least. Yeah, I gotta. I'll, 
if the show's out, then the commercials or the pictures or whatever, they should be out somewhere. So if you can find that, send that. That would be hilarious. I will for sure. Yeah. That would be that'd be good shit. Have you been hitting the continuing your training in the heavy bag? Yes, I have. Dang. It's like an L like I like doing it and I think it's a good like work, but I like I like doing it like I, it's like an outlet. It's like a release because you get these stupid customers and you get these bitch ass employees and they they could definitely use a freaking good cobra strike right in the freaking nose or the siphus. But my kill shot is I'm thinking I want to go for the throat. I'm not fucking yeah. around. I mean, anybody could pop somebody in the nose. I want to get them in the throat. Yeah, I just think out. about that, that scene. Did you ever see the movie He Got Game? Maybe. With Denzel Washington? Sounds, sounds familiar. When he. he you got to watch that one. Denzel, he got game. That's a good one. I, I recommend that. That's your homework for our next podcast. When Denzel was getting out of jail and he punched that guy in the throat, he's like, oh, you can't talk now, huh? Oh, you're not so tough now. So then I was just thinking, I was like, man, if you can get somebody in the throat, that's like a good shot. That motherfucker won't want to fight anymore. Yeah, yeah. That shuts so, them yeah. They can't breathe like, and shit. That's my, new, that's my new goal, the throat. Yeah. Throat, throat punch. That's that's the way to get out of it. Yeah. There's a reason it's illegal in UFC and boxing. You can't punch in the throat, right? I don't know, but don't in Cobra Kai, in Cobra Kai, it's all right. It's real life. The fans, it's real life, man. It's around it's the real street. Life. You don't get a point in real life. It's yeah, yeah. Die. You're not fighting to, for rounds. You're fighting for your life. I'm not showing any mercy either on them guys. You don't show mercy. Mercy's for the weak. That's right. Yeah. Bastards. Um, so yeah. you're heading for a, a, a road trip Saturday. Do you share? You're headed back to the Bay Area, uh, if I, I understand correctly. Yeah, I'm flying out. I'm going uh, flying 11 a.m. out of Vegas to Oakland and then flying back 11 p.m. or 10. I'll be back by 11 p.m. You're kidding. That's a quick quick turnaround unless there's some delay i heard spirit airlines having issues flying spirit they're it's always shady i don't so, know so is somebody gonna like return you to the airport in oakland or how well, I, I, I said i i'll probably take an uber to go to the venue because it's really close it's like two exits away from oh so it's not a, it's not it won't be a bad travel yeah, it's really close. Last time I got a car because it was a little further away, but um, this time I'm like, ah, it's Uber. And then when the show's – I sh my match should be done early enough that I can get to the airport by, like, 8, 9, and the flight is at 10-ish. And then uh, somebody said they'd drop me off if they can, so it should be should be good. So, but do you, know, do you know who your opponent is for this match? Yeah, it's uh this I've been wrestling this guy, Big Fonz. He's like new and he's like uh man, I wrestled him like my last four or five matches. Like I wrestled over there, I wrestled him, and then he, he's come to Vegas two months in a row and he, I've been in a match with him both times. It's him and uh Jekylls. Remember Jekylls? Jekylls, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is this Jekylls' promotion? Yeah, yeah, it's puppet. he's the he's the promoter? Yeah, Puppet Master Dojo, that's what he calls it. So it's just his, his. Uh, I don't know if it's him specifically. I think he's running a school. And then this big Fonz guy said he, he helps get the, the venues, and they're all like breweries. So this one's a brewery too, and it's just like outdoors. Like, it might be hot. But other than that, like, other than that is a brewery. It'd be cool. Go have a beer after the match. I did they're last. Gonna you, they're going to pay you in beer? I it, uh, I don't know. I don't think I could drink that many. And uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe next time. <laughs> yeah, but, yeah, yeah, damn, yeah. man. I know you gave us a lot of notice. I wouldn't have mind going down there, but I didn't just. It's it's so it, it's too it's too far to just be like like you have to take a day or two off. I think. Like, yeah, you'll be home before us. Yeah, I'm flying. It's not a big deal because it's a direct flight, but if it was like over there, you couldn't fly. You can't fly to Oakland over there, can you? Like you have to go to LA or, you, or like 
just you might as well drive, you know? Yeah. Like going to LA is out of the way, so. But so, what? So you had mentioned earlier you are wrestling a little bit more now. Uh, I mean, kind of, yeah, because the local promotion they they know I'm back, like not traveling. But they're they're like I don't know. They're kind of uh, like they had a bunch of shows this past weekend. They didn't hit me up because a bunch of people were in from out of town. They just kind of they only put I don't know. It's like who you know. It's it's part of that. Like I got to get in with the uh, the owner and the this like the promote the, whoever's booking or whatever. It's like you got to be really good friends with them and then you'll be on every show. Otherwise, they just call you when they need you. Oh, is that right? same same thing, huh? But yeah, it's but it's definitely I'm getting the hit up like every at least once a month by the local and then Oakland and I don't know. Hopefully, do it a little more while I'm not working much. This fucking I don't know if it's the writer strike or from like the Hollywood writer strike or what, but it just seems like there's nothing going on over. Here like there like it was in the past couple years but really yeah but i don't know marky mark he's gonna save us they're gonna all these studios are gonna disney's talking about coming out p- putting a studio here and sony and tell him tell him if you ever meet him tell him that we wrote the script for ted three <laughs> yeah <it's on. laughs> my friend wrote the t- ted three you ready for it, man <laughs> What the fuck? We'll be Thunder Buddies for life. <laughs> Boy, that that ends up being one of my favorite favorite movies, Ted. The yeah, first one. Yeah. Oh, freaking Ted. That was that was just classically done. Yeah. Just yeah. classic. Yeah, I gotta rewatch that sometime. I yeah. Seen. Hey, I got I have a request when you come down here if we can make it happen. Okay. Do you think we can edible up or smoke out and then go get all you can eat sushi? I think that could be arranged. They don't, they don't have it in town anymore, do they? Uh, we'd have to go to either. There's a place in Grover Beach off of Grand Avenue, and then there's a place in San Maria by the uh, mall. Don't yeah, maybe. I might, I might know people that get us over there, you know? Remember that when we did it and we went to All You Can Eat Shrimp? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, yeah. That was some fun. That was a fun evening. Yeah. That was, a, that was a good one. We just keep bringing it. They were they weren't bringing it fast enough. Then you oh, you did like three more rounds than me and Pat. I love me some shrimp, man. That's my favorite shrimp. That's control. Oh God. I did yeah, some was... sushi. I did the revolving sushi with Pat when he was here. You oh yeah. Ever... How'd that go? Pretty good. It's we ate like twenty five plates. Um. It's just, have you been there though? It's it's no. like a, it's like a tiny plate about that big, and then there's like there's a conveyor belt coming like next to your booth. Uh huh. It it'll say like dragon roll, and then there'll be like dragon rolls on the little plates, and you pick you want it, you pick it off. It's like three dollars a plate, so there's like three pieces on each, three or four pieces. So then you get you can have that like onto the next one. So it's it's kind of all you can eat but it's like it just they just keep sending shit but it's very basic it's not like there's any kind of weird rolls it's it's like california rainbow dragon tiger like basic shit but it's good and and you don't you don't spend as much as all you can eat usually because i don't know how it is over there but the other ones here are like 35 or something for dinner so yeah i think it's about 30 i think it's about 35 bucks it's not bad. Yeah, we should do that though. I'm down. I, I since this job got canceled and I'm still getting paid, I might come earlier to the town. I might. My, it's my mom's birthday Sunday, which I don't know if I could get there Sunday, but after traveling the night before. But uh, maybe Monday or Tuesday I'll drive up instead of waiting until Friday and then stay for a week or two. You're talking about going to Universal. Was were we talking about that last time? We were. Okay still up in the air i mean yeah. i got that pass yeah we gotta figure out which day that is we have to look at the blackout dates and the fucking day off days off that i may or may not have yeah that'd be fun yeah yeah, yeah. good the mario land and all that shit absolutely 
Uh, yeah. Freaking lootly. Go down to Cool Kicks. Check out some check out some shoes. Oh yeah, that'd be cool. It's a good deal. Maybe or we could if if it's open, there's like a Mattel store down there. We can see all the figs. That, no, is it really? There's a yeah, there's a Mattel store. It has weird hours where they're only open like I think it's in El Segundo. Um, I was not aware of that's kind of in the I'm not sure where that's at in location to Hollywood, but it's gotta be down there somewhere. Yeah, I've been there. It's You've been the, to the Mattel place? No, I've been to the El Segundo. It, oh. we stayed, I just stayed there not long ago for uh we took the niece down to go to like Beverly Hills and shit. And it wasn't too far, so Oh, because Beverly Hills is right there kind of down the way from, from Universal Studios. Yeah, I think so, yeah. So we could go there too if we have time or whatever. Wade's wines or Wade's wines. Wade's wines on the way. Wade's friggin' wines. Good times at Wade's wines. Yeah, they always got Good some. Good memories. Yeah. Um oh yeah, and then uh the other thing I had on the list, the National Donut Days tomorrow, I heard. Tomorrow. Correspondent Phil told me uh national Cor Day. special correspondent yeah yeah he, he said Krispy Kreme you get a free donut no purchase necessary so I assume that's they do that at a lot of places but well what I, we're doing at our place is they're they're on the Friday frenzy we don't have five dollar Friday anymore we have Friday frenzy what does that mean there's like a dozen I think the dozen is like 6.99 for a dozen oh okay that's that's all right. So At Albertsons, Bonds, and Pavilions. Well, I got, there's a lot of donut places here. I might have to just go to every one of them and try and get get a donut. I thought about renting a bus, get all the homeless people, and just, like, take them all to Krispy Kreme to get a free donut. Yeah, that's very Christian of you. You're embracing your, your you're embracing the gimmick. I got to do something before uh, beat up sinners on Saturday. Yeah. Hey, the, Going back to the Universal Studios over there in Springfield, they got the big ass, the Lard Lab donut over there. Oh, yeah. It's like full bucks. Up, though. What's I that? I heard they tore the Simpsons out. No, I was there. It was there the last time I was there. I went to Moe's. I had a Duff at Moe's. It was there a month ago. You know, so they're gonna tear it out because Disney now. You're kidding. Because uh, Disney owns Fox or whatever the studio, don't they? I'm, it's fucked up. Know. Oh. So I, don't know. I know they're tearing out the spider any Spider Man things in like Orlando. But uh Really? So Simpsons is going away? Yeah, let me check. Maybe this is breaking news. Uh let me see if it's still there. I don't I don't know that it's It's definitely be, there in Hollywood. I think so. it I guess it is. Um either, I definitely had a duff. Oh, uh, they they have a deal until 2028, so. Oh, okay. They'll probably tear it out then, but we got five years, so. that Dude, one time, I took my fiance there when we were first dating for Hollywood Horror Nights, and she, <laughs> I didn't really realize that she had just had, like, ACL surgery, so she was, like, she didn't want to, like, stand around all night. She acted, she wasn't on crutches or anything, she just, she seemed fine, but she was, like, I hate standing in line, so we were, like, shit. So then, uh. Did you have this romantic evening plan? I know. I, 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 universal? I mean, stuff. So I was like, oh, we'll go to all the horror houses. And like, we went to one. Lines were too fucking long. So we went to Simpsons. We got the donut and we got Duff energy drinks. And we drank an energy drink and ate the whole donut. And then we rode the Simpsons ride. And it's kind of like. Shit. Oh, yeah. Oh, it was. We felt so bad after. And we're like, okay, we got to get out of here. So we went on like four rides. <laughs> like, did, did you hear about my, my my story the first time i went i got sick on the harry potter ride and threw my guts up on the harry potter ride at oh, no. true story man is it crazy you probably had to shut the ride down up huh it's like where it shakes you but you're not yeah actually... that shit's in 3d and it, ah, it was just horrible like i used to be all right like i could do i could do the roller coasters but this last time when i went back it was yeah. a lot better a lot better. 
Maybe it was just like you drank or something in the recent. It was hot. It was really hot. And I don't do well. And I had a black, gray, white shirt on. And it was just hot. It was hot. Yeah. That, I don't know. I was just a bitch. Dehydrate. Damn. It happens. Yeah. They probably had to shut the Harry Potter ride down after I threw my guts up on. on the ride? I did. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's a thing to, to be proud of. Peak to honor ride. They probably had to clean it. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, that's hey, but then like I went all in because you know, like sometimes like you can kind of control it. Like you could just like kind of be like strategic about it. When yeah. I knew I was I couldn't do it, I was just like throwing up air, like projecting it. Like I was I wasn't like the chick from Exorcist, but it was like was it getting I on? threw that shit up, dude. Those three D things and them dragons coming at me was yeah, like yeah. My, my, thing, my head was like just wonk. Yeah, I know that Simpsons ride when we ate all that sugar, I was like, I thought I was gonna throw up. And you're in like a thing with people. Yeah. Like, Ugh, this could be bad. So here's a here's an interesting, a uh, fun fact. Apparently the Simpsons ride before it was the Simpsons ride was Back to the Future. Yeah, that's what I heard. Maybe they'll go back to that. I don't know. So on the on the Hollywood on the studio tour, I did see the DeLorean. I mean, I'm sure there's a. I don't know if that was the DeLorean, but. I feel like when we I went with my mom and brother years ago, and they had a DeLorean like in the little. There's like a, a special. It wasn't like a store, but it was like a kind of thing where you could go look at all these old movie, props. Uh, props. I think it was in there at the time or something like it. But, yeah, they. I'm sure they just have one line, a few lying around. I almost dropped, almost dropped my podcasting sharpie. Uh oh, you can't, you gotta have I was that. Playing, I was in the immortal words of Pete Serrar, I was playing rocket ship with it, and I almost, I almost <laughs> didn't catch it. I was playing rocket ship. Rocket ship. <laughs> so what he used to say? Yeah, he used to get upset about the students when they would play rocket ship with their. With their pen. Does that even mean? I'm trying to play rocket ship right now. Am I like flipping the top up? <laughs> okay. Yeah, I remember that guy. I think I had him too. Oh, like I did it. Or something. Did it. Oh, he was awesome. He was an awesome teacher. Yeah, he's a funny guy. I can I can't do it on my laptop and capture, it, but I can do it on the table. Oh shit, maybe not. Oh shit. All right, no more rocket ship. That's uh, getting distracted. I can't be distracted. I've been doing a pretty good job of uh, being a podcast rather than being a, a rude at the beginning. Yeah, it's just been really professional today. Until the rocket. We, we, did, we only did a few cuss words too, huh? We've gotten better on our on our, our podcasting etiquette language. I, like I was cursing a lot, but I don't yeah. know. Maybe we'll tone it down if we get sponsors eventually. Yeah. Not the roots. Ah, the roots, they, they messed up. Pat Lewis right there, and he doesn't even go there, right? Uh, the one across the street from him? Yeah. Is that roots? Yeah, I think he yeah. goes there. But, like, he'll, he he'll go there. Maybe he goes to Elevate, too, because it's, uh, they have good deals or whatever. I don't know. You try all of them. Like, they give you, like, we that one. We probably shouldn't be putting Pat on blast, right? Huh? <laughs> don't have to edit that little part. We probably shouldn't be putting Pat's, uh. Oh, no, how do people not know now? I don't know what's nobody's watching this that I know or that he he knows. I'm pretty <laughs> sure. It, maybe it'll go viral and then all of a sudden it'll be like Pat. But he's not. It's not like he can't. Like, or my fr my friend told me uh, valet they get to smoke weed now. I don't know. What? That's, yeah, they're just like they're just like whatever now. So I don't know if that's true. I gotta, I gotta confirm with him, but that's that, that's one of those urban legends. Like there used to be like ten ultimate warriors. Yeah. Now it's there's not, like it's not proven yet, but it could be true. Okay. Not sure, but uh, yeah. What? Or there's that one plant on uh A Street. You've been there. They have some good deals sometimes. No, I only go to the roots, but now I'm pissed. All I wanted was one of those freaking orange cream sodas. Yeah, so it, it seems even so. drinks that, like unless they're the hundred milligram drinks, they don't keep those like the ten milligrams there that often. I don't know. In in general, <laughs> most places. 
I like that. Those are those are like those hit perfect for me. Yeah. Then like the other day when I drank too much of that that hundred milligram and I rationed out when I was supposed to to podcast on the Sunday, I got too too effed up on it. And then the time before I didn't take enough. It was the soda is just the perfect thing for me. Yeah, yeah. So you can't can't mess yourself up. No. Yeah. I thought I was gonna die that day. I was like laying in my bed, and the freaking uh, cottage cheese ceiling. The shit was like, oh, no. like so. One of the time the bushwhackers. I was like having visions of bushwhackers. Yeah, it was like it was some crazy. Sh- I was on a crazy freaking trip, man. What was I on? Uh, I was pretty out of it the other day, but yeah, no, no bushwhackers. That's that's rare. It was so. Uh, hey. Do they got some bushwhacker figures? That might be a, a good two pack. Yeah, I think they made them a while back. And then Legends, they, probably on the Legends line, huh? Yeah, like the first, the, one of the first lines, and then they just either didn't renew or whatever. But now the one's dead. Oh, like died. Yeah, yeah, fucking Butch. Butch. Butch is dead, so now they gotta sign his family or something. He died going to a convention. What? Came over for the WrestleMania conventions. And he started feeling really sick, and he died over here, I think. And then they had their, I don't know. WWE Hall of Famer came for WrestleMania weekend and dies? Yep. He's just in bad health, but he wanted to go see his fans or whatever, so. Yeah. Yeah. Poor guy. What's the likelihood that we'll get to go to the Santa Maria Vets Hall to see a show over there with the Apostle on there? Oh, I don't know. Oh, I hit a... Uh, Billy Blade was in town here on Thursday with the midget wrestling at a bar. And I was like, hey, man, I'll, I'll come... I was kind of wasted a few, like a week before. I was like, oh, yeah, I saw you're doing this show. Like, you want me to wrestle or anything? Or, like, I'll just show up and hang out. And he's like, yeah, come over and hang out. I was like, okay, cool. And then Thursday came and I was like, I don't want to go anywhere. <laughs> I'm not going over there. <laughs> like... So, I don't know. I, I hit him up about that, so maybe he'll ask since I'm doing, like, the Jekyll shows and stuff more. But I don't know when the next one is. Have you, you seen advertisements? or? No, no. What's the latest update on the Flower Valley Ballroom guy? You know oh. what? I don't really have a great update. I, I'm going to have to do research today because he, he posts on Facebook or whatever once in a while, and I'll notice it, but I haven't seen it in a while. And I, his dad, I don't see his dad posting anything, so I'm thinking maybe something's going on, or maybe it's, have you driven by there? Maybe it's shut down, or I don't know. I drove by there, yeah, I did drive by there, but I, I mean, it looked the same to me. I didn't look, uh, like, yeah, I didn't I'll notice. I'll get that for next week. Uh, flower. Oh, I think I did see they are going to do a wrestling show in the future, but it's it's like the... It's like the other. It's not a Billy Blade promotion. Obviously, it's something else. They they've run over there before. Best of the West. It's uh, yeah. It's all these uh, dudes from Fresno. Oh, is that right? Yeah, oh, and they bring they bring some Vegas people too, though. But not me. They don't. The guy, the guy doesn't like me or something. I don't know. The Fresno Flash. Huh? The Fresno Flash. Fuck yeah, those guys. Yeah, might be, but. Oh, yeah, I'll let, I'll let you, I'll keep you updated if we get Santa Maria going again. Maybe I'll do those. Um, there's that Comic Con coming up in like June 10th in Lompoc at the event middle school. Jesus was telling us about it, or somebody was. Somebody what? mentioned that. I wonder how that'll go. Yeah, they got the guy who sang the Pokemon theme song, so that's <laughs> it's pretty good. I don't know who else. I regret it. I have a regret to admit to this past weekend. I had to work Sunday. And if I didn't have to work Sunday, I would have went to go see the Batmobile at the Santa Maria Fair Park. Oh, shit. With Ponch? Ponch was Saturday. And the uh, Batmobile was Sunday. So yeah. I, didn't, I I would have liked to have seen the Batmobile, but it just didn't it didn't work out for me. I thought I that would be a pretty cool thing to see. I swear I've seen it at the uh in vegas but like on the way to vegas there's a like that uh what there's is, a shop there where they have that like stuff right like where they, they have, have like cars from old shows or like fast and furious or whatever and i think they had a, a batmobile but i i'll have to 
I'll have to look that up and see. It would take you to see the Batmobile if you ever. I think that would have been a cool thing to see. You know, you, you know my my Batmobile stories. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. That would have been sweet. Maybe they let you sit in it. I don't know. Yeah, for seven thousand dollars, probably. Huh? You'd probably have to pay a arm and a leg to there's, sit in that thing. There's a guy making them in a uh, and some, Tennessee, right? Yeah, something like that. Because the king has one, I thought. Jerry the King Waller has one. Yeah. He might have sold it. Maybe. Pay for his heart attacks or whatever. Yeah. But, yeah, we'll have to, maybe if if I'm in town for the... um. Oh, if you're there, maybe we could go to the Comic-Con. Yeah, yeah, I think I'll be in town that weekend. Because it's, it's a week from Saturday or something. Yeah. yeah. That'll be weird. I, that'll be interesting. I don't know. I don't know how that'll do, how big it's going to be. Where is it going to be in the middle school? Is it just in, like, the gymnasium? Like, I, I, I don't think they had any, like, good celebrities, but like, besides the Pokemon guy, but I don't know. It's going to be weird. Yeah, I wonder who the promoter is for that. Yeah, like, it's got to be, like, if it's a Lompoc person, it's got to be somebody that we know. Yeah, it's got to be. Somebody we went to school with. Yeah, yeah, and they're just like, I'm trying to do something, man, and then, like, they'll never do it again because it costs so much. Yeah, they'll lose their ass. But they they, 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 they did their dream, you know? Kind of like you when you went out to Calgary that. Yeah, you know, yeah, exactly. You did that. Yeah, yeah. That was that ass that you did that. Yeah, I tried. Do something. Did we cover, did we get all the co- topics covered? Yeah, yeah, we're right up at about an hour maybe we anything else maybe we should shut it down before we get too uh long-winded hey i like the theme song that you you incorporated that last week oh, at yeah, the end. yeah. We, got our, we got our we got a theme song yeah it was the that's like i come out to that for wrestling at the vegas place sometimes because uh what ha- they uh you know what I'm like right when i started like wrestling on their shows they're like we're going to do TV and we're going to like be on fight TV and all this stuff. And like, we need everybody to have royalty free music. So I found that on YouTube. I was like, this is good enough. And I sent it to the guy. He's like, this is great. Like, we'll put your voice at the beginning saying all hail Judah or something. I was like, okay, cool. So I don't have that version. They, I don't know where they put that. It's in their laptop somewhere, but now I come out and like, they just put on like random shit all the time because the guy running audio doesn't remember I have that song, but yeah, it's like a royalty free song. So right on. Well, it it really, it really added a touch of class to the Apostle Songbird podcast. Romero watched the premiere and he he probably thought we were like, he's like, geez, these guys are, these guys are good. These guys are pros. Top notch. Yeah. Aren't these guys millionaires? in the uh, fleshlight sponsorships or something you know but we just got to start emailing people build that network we just got to build a network i think they'll let you a lot of companies will be like yeah yeah you just here put this link out on your site and however many hits we get from this link you get the money for that you get a percentage or something but i don't know i mean i work for a billion dollar company maybe i should i should hit them up can we get Albertson's sponsor of this podcast? We'll, you, you know, I, the answer is no, unless you ask. Uh, that's true. So you better. You, I'm, you're gonna have to I want to save my things because I want to tell them that I want to take three months off to act too. So I want to take the summer off this summer to, to start my acting career. I don't, I'm, I'm not sure how that'll go over, but. I mean, I think they kind of have to let you do it. They let women do it for pregnancy. What, what's different here? You you got a need. I want to live my dream. I want yeah. to want to go act. Dreams are more important than uh, having babies, I think. Well, the answer is no, unless you ask. Yeah, exactly. But better yeah. ask forgiveness than permission. That's exactly right. Yeah. Exactly right. Those that's the words to end on right there. It's I'm gonna screw it up. It's better to ask forgiveness than to ask permission is that how it goes is that the line yeah that's it pretty good put that on a shirt yeah yeah 
or that'll Living be City first, Cemetery. That'll be our first uh, merch shirt. Merch? Did we need to get some merch? Click below to get the merch. Or something. We need we need to make a cool logo. Yeah, it's gotta be like what what's what. What, what are what would it be? Apostle and songbird. A and S, with like a bird. Yeah. A bird in a Bible. Mm, that could work. A cross with a bird. Yeah, a it should cross. be something like where you can't really tell what it is. You just think it's a cool shirt, or like a cool phrase, and then you don't like it. Doesn't say something stupid like the full show name. It's like A and S or bird, like you're saying. Yeah, I like that. Maybe All right, so that's a, that's one of our things. We got to come up with like a logo. Yeah, I'll, go, I'll go on. Uh, what's it called? Uh, where I printed my shirts, my limited edition apostle shirts. Yeah. <laughs> we'll get. We'll have get like a shadow of you, your outline doing shadow boxing. Like it'll just be you like throwing a strike. Cobra strike. That's the best strike. Boom. Cobra strike. Yeah. Boom. 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 <laughs> all right my man we good right. i think that's a good one love you all control the pet population spray or neuter your animals everybody pay it forward this week and do something nice for someone and be safe out there. Good fight and good night from right. your favorite songbird. All right, I like Any that. last minute words? Uh, I can't top that. All right, brother. All right. Be in touch. See Take you care. later.